Sit back, relax, strap yourself in, because it's time for another manga haul video. Turn it up, throw down your motherfucking door. Uh. Hey guys, what is up? Otaku Mike here, doing another manga haul video for you. I got some cool stuff for the month of January. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, consider subscribing. Subscribe down below, like, dislike, comment, you know what to do. So let's get into this. I got a lot of cool stuff for you here today. Alright, so we're just going to start out with the big one that I got over Christmas. I did an unboxing for it already, but I'll show you guys here. We got ourselves the complete collection of Rosario plus a vampire or Rosario vampire. Uh, this thing is heavy. I'll open it up and show you guys what it looks like. But there's all the wonderful manga right in there for you. It's about a guy who goes to a monster school with vampires and stuff. Um, haven't got a chance to read this yet, but I will plan on doing a review for you guys in the near future. Maybe I'll do like a season one, season two type of thing. It does have season one and two. This is a pretty nice box set and I can't wait to dig into it. All right, so next we have stuff that was sent to me by my good buddy, Justy Hooked. Go check out his channel. He's a pretty cool manga tuber. Just rebooted his channel, but I will put a link in the description down below. He sent me some pretty cool stuff, and I can't wait to read it, get into it, whatnot. He sent me the series, or part of the series, Hide and Closer. Um, there's volume one. Then we got volume two. And then volume three. I believe there's a couple more volumes, like six, seven volumes. I can't remember. Uh, but this is about a guy. He has a a magic infused teddy bear, kind of like a voodoo doll almost. I read this a while ago, actually a couple years ago. It's been like four or five years since I read the first volume. I enjoyed the first volume when I read it, and I can't wait to read the rest of Hide and Closer. Seeing a teddy bear kill things is pretty awesome. And he likes his cigars. And I believe he has a chainsaw too. If I remember correctly, I think he's like a chainsaw. But yeah, got these from my buddy, Justy. Go check him out. He's a pretty cool dude. So next, I got this one uh, from a, a dollar blind box off of Right Stuff. It's Erica Sakurazawa. Uh, between the sheets I think this is a one-shot I know she has more books I believe but I from what I hear this is one of the better books that she's written from uh, my buddy bizarre individual told me about this he said it was one of his favorites so yeah it's just a one-shot I think it's a, a Yuri yeah it looks like a Yuri uh, but yeah can't wait to check it out and read it all right, so this next one I got, I'm actually right in the middle of reading it. I can't wait to do a review on it. I, I couldn't wait for this because one, I'm such a huge fan of the anime and I wanted to read the original story, which the anime is loosely based on. I picked up Dirty Pair, the complete collection. Just one omnibus because it's just the an adaptation of the light novel that came out uh, to start the Dirty Pair and their story. Um, from what I've gathered, this is a pretty fun series so far. I just got done with the first section of this and I can't wait to read more because I, I love Dirty Pair. Um, and no, it's not a, not a hentai. It's like an action sci-fi comedy. But there is some adult elements sprinkled in. But yeah, Dirty Pair from Seven Seas. Pretty awesome. Keep going on with the manga haul. Next, we have probably my one of my favorite isekais. 
You guys know that I love the isekais. We have Rising of the Shield Hero, Volume 12. Pretty awesome. Can't wait to get into this. Uh, the last one kind of left me on like a little cliffhanger. But yeah, there, there's that. The next we have Worlds and Harem, Volume 7. If you haven't checked this out, it's a pretty interesting manga. If you can get past all the, the tits and ass that the manga has, it's a pretty interesting look at the at humans in general and how they act. Uh, but yeah, got Rising of the Shield Hero and Worlds in Harem. Pretty awesome. Alright, so I already did a review on this next one, or first impressions. Uh, I got Reincarnated as a Sword, Volume 1. The first volume was fun. Go check out my first impressions of it and to learn more about it. It's about a guy, dies, gets reincarnated as a sword, as the title suggests. And he fights with the cat girl. You know, enough said. Alright, this next one, I'm actually looking forward to as well. Uh, it's from Ghost Ship, the, the Ghost Ship line from Seven Seas, and that is Destiny, Destiny Lover, was Volume 1. It's about a guy wakes up in a prison cell with sexy uh, jailers, I guess you could say, or guards. Um, I don't know much about it, or I don't remember much about the premise, but I will let you guys know when I do our first impressions on it and see how it actually is. Uh, the artwork looks good so far. Uh, who knows? It might be good, might be bad. Next, we have one that I thoroughly enjoy. I find it to be hilarious. I guess you could say it's a reverse isekai. Um, that is um, Plus Sized Elf Volume Four. Uh, always look forward to a new volume for this. If you haven't checked it out, it's pretty fun. It's about magical creatures who get fat or get overweight or indulge in Earth's foods because our food is so awesome. And this guy has to help them work off the pounds so they can get back through the portals that they came from. And it's a comedy slash workout manga where they actually give you workout tips for you, actually. All right, last but not least, I didn't know this came out, but I was really looking forward to it when it did, I, I found out that it did come out. Uh, I don't know much about it. I know it's a post-apocalyptic manga about a guy and a girl who are trying to survive in this crazy wasteland. But I picked up uh, Heavenly Delusion, Volume 1. Yeah. Uh, this one I actually flipped through it a little bit at the store. I was like, ooh, this looks cool. Uh, and so I picked up Volume 1. That's all of my manga haul. Look at that. Got a pretty big stack of manga right there. But yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Comment down below if you're going to pick up any of this manga or if you don't like it. Let me know. I'm Otaku Mike. Catch you guys later.